Hello everyone, in this video I would like to show you how to theme your KDE desktop and make it look like this. Now uh, for the first step, let us go and install the Latte dock. Open the console, sudo apt install latte doc we also need the qt5 style kvandam package enter y while it is uh, installing let us open settings and go to appearance get a new global theme that is the ant dark Click on install and wait for the installation. Now open the home page of the theme and get to the Ant Dark Kivantum theme. Click on download. Now uh, instead of this one, you can also use a bluish version of the theme that is there. Um, so let us sort it by the highest rated first here is the one open the official home page go to node Kevantum theme click on download and select the bluish version click download that's it both of them are done now what you need to do is go to the file manager, head over to download, open the two folders, the compressed folders and now you need to extract them here. Now after the installation, open the Quantum manager which has already been installed. Now go to downloads, select Ant Dark, OK, install this theme, select another Quantum folder, select Nordic Blue, install. Now you can choose, uh, I'm giving you options, I'm going to give you two options in this video. So you can choose, actually three options. You can choose uh, one of them is the Nordic Blue, which I prefer over the others. Um, it looks quite good and you can increase the opacity to 20%, uh, reduce the opacity by 20% and increase the intensity of the contrast effect to 1.5 and saturation to 2 so that the background becomes much more lively. Now you can enable transparent dolphin view also. Click on save, done. Now uh, minimize that. Now let us go to latte dock. Okay, now uh, while it is launching or something, Latte is extremely unstable on my laptop due to some reason, on my desktop, whatever. Um, let us remove the panel, click on more options, remove panel. I hope the recording is happening here. Yeah. Now right click and click on edit dock. Turn on advanced mode. Select the absolute size to around 32 pixels and turn off zoom on hover. Now change the maximum length to... Yeah, that's it. Now change the option to panel mode. And now you can uh, turn on blur, turn off shadows and decrease opacity to 67%. Turn up the radius to 25%. That's it. Now increase uh, the screen edge to 16% and let's increase the length further to some extent. Okay, done. Now from behavior, turn on dodge, dodge maximized. Click close. Now let us uh, add some widgets. Click on get new widgets. Click on download. Now we need two new widgets. That is the better inline clock. Click 
click on install also we need the I keep forgetting this name nav dexy menu done now go to add widgets now one by one we will add let's add the um, show desktop widget first now let's uh, let us add the logout or login widget as the next one search for bluetooth and add that here now let us search for network go and search for network add that add widgets search for better inline clock move that here now configure the better inline clock and to use full uh, fixed font size set it to around 16 click on ok let us add one more widget that is the volume volume control and we also need the notification widget now uh, let us change the position yeah looks better now change the position of the latte task to this side remove the analog clock it's not needed and now let us add another widget let's search for the nav yeah drag and drop make sure it is between the two justify splitters done now close this now we need to configure the nav dexy menu um, change the color background to something that is slightly blue because we are going to use the node theme right so it should look a little bit blue okay and use transparent background and i'm not changing the color of the buttons currently because we are going to use a dark theme and this is how this part looks well we can now safely go to edit mode and remove this part done that's it now let's go to settings appearance select the ant dark theme and click on apply let's apply the kevandom theme that should work let's go to color and you can choose the ant dark color that will go with the current quantum theme that's it okay the icons have changed now for the window decoration it's already using the ant dark window decoration and icons has already been downloaded the ant dark icons and that's it now for the wallpaper let's go and get something from pexels even in firefox it has been changed so That's it. Now, uh, okay, one more thing that we need to edit is in the dolphins. Now, right click on the toolbar and turn off lock toolbar. Go to configure and insert an expanding spacer. And uh, before the, after the location bar, insert another expanding spacer. Now, let us remove the location bar. Click on apply. Now if you want you can put the location bar there but due to some reason it doesn't look good uh, with that or uh, you can also search for some alternatives if you want. Now right click, turn off locks uh, toolbar and change the orientation to left. Looks really cool right? And you can just turn on icons only mode so that you can just see the icons and instead of the text that are visible. That's it. Done. And it looks quite cool. Now let's go to uh, the console. You also need to edit the console. Switch the profile or you can just go to go and create new profile. Now you can get the default profile, the, the official profile that's provided with 
the and the org theme this window is behaving very strange okay for my case it is not opening it's not working for some reason KDE had always been my favorite desktop environment but with the recent number of bugs that are appearing in KDE I don't know if you are facing the same problem there but it just keep, becomes very annoying to use it I currently use uh, the XFCE version of MX Linux as my daily driver That's it, it should look good Now let us go for the second part that I was talking about. Uh, it looks really great uh, because it uses rounded corners instead of this flat corners as you can see. Okay, uh, you need to just leave uh, and then get back here. Let me just uh, do that first. So I did log out and log back in. As you can see, the right, uh, right click menu on the desktop has been changed and it looks good. Um, now the next part that I was talking about you need to go to Firefox or the web browser that you want to use just open and let's search for the lightly okay the lightly KDE search for that yeah this one now go down and search for Ubuntu and if you want to install it on others, other um, distros, it is also present here. Now let's open the terminal. And wait for the installation to complete. Now these are basically the dependencies on which the likely shader depends. Uh, it's not the likely shader. It is the likely application theme de uh, depends now um, there is another thing that is likely shaders now it was given that you cannot um, your system might have performance changes so I uh, did not risk and install likely shaders okay I forgot to say that you need to copy uh, the build and install code or the command that they have given copy it and paste it in the terminal and wait for the installation to complete it will take a bit of time and that's it the installation is complete now just open the settings app and head over to application style and choose the lightly option Click on apply and there you go. Now for the lightly colors, uh, you can choose something else from here. Now if you open the dolphins window, you get to see this beautiful blur that is there in the side pane. Now instead of getting the blur in the whole part, you get that in this side pane. Okay. So another thing that you can do is that uh, right click on the on this part and select the icon size to be large. And it looks kind of cool with the large icon size. Now for the window decorations, I forgot to mention that there, uh, there is another option that is available now that is the lightly option. 
you can choose the lightly window decorations also if you want now the main advantage of the lightly theme is that you can also change the amount of shadows so if you like large shadows very large shadows you can increase the uh, strength to 90 percent whatever you like as you can see the shadows increase now you can add uh, another thing on the desktop um, so add widget get new widgets search for a clock a very minimalist clock that I did find yeah this one click on install click on add widgets search for the minimalist clock and you can drag and drop it here so you can choose a location that is absolutely in the center part so that it looks good you can also configure everything let us turn off the shadows you can choose a light font to make it look better and that's it so that's it for this video thank you so much for viewing do like share and subscribe i'll catch you in the next one